I now do you, Simon, receive Vanessa to be your wife, to respect and to love her, sacrifice for and support in sickness and in health, in joy and in sadness, and forsaking all others, keep yourself always for her. I do. Simon, my great love. As we stand here before each other, outside on this beautiful mountaintop, these are my vows to you. I promise to always cherish Ben and will remember what a blessing he is to our lives. I may not have carried him in the traditional sense, but I'll forever carry him in my heart, every day offering him my unconditional support, love, and encouragement. I promise to respect and honor person that you are, and that your goals, dreams, and interests are no less important than my own. I promise to always have open and honest communication with you. I will stand by your side, holding your hand, taking on life together, no matter how hard or ugly it may get, or how joyous and beautiful it will be. One writer described love this way. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots are so entwined together that it's inconceivable that you should ever part. Because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness, it's not excitement, it's not uh, the proclamation of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. And to you, Vanessa, receive Simon to be your husband. I do. Okay. You aren't just marrying an ordinary handsome man, you're embarking into an extraordinary lifestyle as a man's wife. Just know that we are trying to make the world a better place for our kids, their kids. You're the kindest, most generous soul I've ever met. And I know our home will always be a place of love. Promise to be your husband first, dad second, and the mountain third. Most of all, I promise to love you until my last breath. An author by the name of J.M. Storm wrote, I think some souls have a way of connecting without our knowledge. That's why you can meet someone for the first time, but inside, you just know. You know it's not the first time you felt them. All my life, I've always believed that a great love exists. And not only stood the test of time, but trans through many lifetimes. A love so great that two souls will always find each other in any lifetime possible. I truly believe, Simon James Corderelli, that you are my great love. The soul who makes mine feel at home. We have found each other, and I promise to love you fiercely in this lifetime and at everyone after this. I love you. I make this charge to you to preserve sacredly the privacies of your own home, your marriage, and your hearts. May your love grow deeper and stronger in the uncertainties and changes of life you'll certainly share, and may you love and adventure always. Now since you, Simon, and you, Vanessa, have consented together in marriage and made your covenant to each other in the presence of these witnesses, by the authority of the province of British Columbia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Whatever source of power brought us together, I'll be forever in debt to them. I love you and I can't wait to be called to